It's a weird cat, I know. Okay. Last time I filmed, we were just trying to get her to fetch with food out because when food came out, she was way more interested in sitting and waiting for food than she was actually playing fetch. Um, because her food drive is way higher than her toy drive. So we've been doing that for a while and we're pretty much almost at the point where I would say um, we're about consistent fetching the toy for food. Um, last time we talked, my cat is trying to help you to play. Last time we talked, we were trying to get um, we were still using the two toy fetch, but now we are down to one toy, and I'm narrowed down the place she must bring it in this kind of area right here, so somewhere close around my feet. So pretty much an imaginary bucket around my feet. If she's outside of that bucket, she doesn't get food, she gets the other toy thrown. And I'm also working on naming the toys. So by naming them, I'm just calling them what they are, the sheep, the horse, when we're playing, but I'm not actually asking her to retrieve it by name yet. Hello. Hey. Whoop. Where's your squeaky sheep? So two squeaky sheep. So I kind of get her a little drived up first, get her a little silly. Okay. Bring. Good girl. Good girl. I'm gonna take that. That's not bad. But I feed her where I want her to be. So you see, I fed her over in the middle a little bit more. What a good girl. Squeaky sheep. Squeaky sheep. What is your squeaky sheep? Did you squeaky sheep? What a good girl. Right? Bring. charging her up a little bit for the sheep, but I'm also testing where she's at on her drive. So if she doesn't follow it around in a circle, she's not gonna follow it to go pick it up. So I'm not gonna throw it yet. Thank you. 